Greetings, everyone, on the eve of Beltane from Brooklyn, New York. So I have an unboxing for you today. Um, pardon my appearance. I've been cleaning this morning. It's Sunday. It's very gloomy outside. And um, I came home last night to find a shipment from Alchemic Muse in my mail vestibule, and I wanted to do a legitimate unboxing, not, you know, wear everything for a week and then tell you what I thought about everything. So, um, yeah, so I've got most everything still wrapped up in the black tissue paper. Um, all but two items that I wanted to try uh, to see how they would last on my skin so I could give you, like, an honest um, review of their longevity and how the scents played out. Um, but anyway, Alchemic Muse is a brand I had never ordered from before. Um, I usually get my... One second, it's hot in here. It's hot. I'm gonna turn the fan on. All right. Um, Coco Pink is my favorite independent, um, like, scented lotion, shower scrub, uh, they have some skin oils as well. I can't remember what they're called. But anyway, um, so Coco Pink is like, they're, they're perfect in every way, in my opinion. The, the scents are delightful, especially if you like foodie, foodie scents. Um, the uh, Coco Mango body butter and the Voluptuous body butter um, have a great um, texture and they moisturize your skin and the, the smell will stay with you. You don't even need perfume. So, um, that's kind of my, like, I, it shouldn't be my baseline. I, I would say that's like my, my objective is to find other, uh, independent perfume, um, and body care companies that have the same, uh, potency in their products. So, there's that, and then um, Cellar Door Soap has probably the strongest scented, best um, soaps in terms of the types of smells that they, fragrances that they offer. Um, Sex Machine is a very good one if you've never ordered from them. Um, so I will see how, I haven't tested, I ordered two soaps. I haven't unwrapped them, and I obviously haven't used them, so I can't tell you um, if the scents are going to last on your skin just yet, but um, let, let me give you the first impressions. How about that? Um, all right, so I went ahead and opened this is the body whip. This is what it looks like. This is a very small um, two ounce jar uh, These are really affordable um, the ingredients are rice bran oil is ingredient number one, shea butter, um, which sometimes I have a problem with because it isn't well absorbed into the skin. Um, there's macadamia seed oil, cherry kernel oil, grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil, pumpkin seed oil, vitamin E, lavender oil, so really good ingredients. Uh, this was four fifty. The six ounce full size is ten dollars. So, either way, um, if you just want to try something out like I did, I mean that's four fifty. You know, no risk. <laughs> um, all right. So the notes of this are: I'm making a video. Um, Bulgarian lavender over an intoxicating base of Madagascar vanilla with a most decadent touch of dark chocolate. And I, I've already tested this. It's pretty and it smells like something. I wouldn't, I wouldn't readily identify lavender and chocolate, but I don't know what I would identify. It's just very pretty. Um, and the texture is good. I was worried because it has shea butter, but it's very nice. It's not greasy. Um, I think it's going to do a very good job um, on my legs and my neck is typically where I put this stuff. Um, 
but the smell doesn't linger. So that's, and it could just be this particular fragrance. Um, it doesn't have a lot of staying power. Sometimes there's great variation. Um, we'll see, I think I ordered another one. We'll check that out in a second. Um, actually, let me, let me do that first. So this was the Pumpkin Honey Body Whip, um, also in a two ounce container. And by the way, the reason I wanted to do a review of this brand is that I found like two videos on YouTube, they were from years ago, and one other review online. So there aren't, there are like no reviews practically. and. The reviews that I did find on YouTube um, only covered a few items and they really didn't go into depth. It was just like, yeah, great customer service. Yeah, these are very nice. And that's true. The customer service is outstanding. Um, I ordered uh, these things one night, like last, I think it was a Sunday. And the next morning I wanted to change my order ever so slightly. So I emailed the company and I got a response immediately. Um, I wanted to switch out um, a couple of the soaps, I think. And Karen is her name. She wrote me back immediately. She's like, no problem. And then it shipped out two minutes later. So the shipping is incredibly fast. Um, ooh, ooh, this is very nice. Incredibly fast shipping and great customer service, obviously. So like five stars, five out of five, definitely. Um, oh, this is awesome. This is like, this is like the cinnamon honey buns that Coco Pink has, strangely. It's pumpkin honey, but wow. Awesome, awesome, love it. I got this on sale uh, because obviously it's a Halloween scent, autumn scent. Um, but that's definitely, <laughs> um, if you're seeing this now and it's still available, get it. Cause I, I think they were very low on stock. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. And the other thing that I tried already is the body gloss. This is, um, bonfire body gloss and it's in a pretty big container. This is four fluid ounces. Um, Apologies, my voice sounds a little weird because I, I just did a nasal rinse and I think I might be fighting off a sinus infection or something. Um, so let me go back to the web page, body gloss. I will tell you what kinds of oils are in this. I tried this on and I love the texture. Okay, so this was on sale too. It's ordinarily $12. I got it for six. There's only one more in stock. Um, this is coconut oil, jojoba oil, pumpkin seed extract, fragrance, and olive squalane, whatever that is, and a couple other things. Um, okay, so this is supposed to smell like crisp fall air, mold cider, burning maple leaves, and a crackling bonfire. Mold cider. That might have been what I picked up on um, because I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, it's good for that. Anyway, um, the spray was very nice. Like with Coco Pink, it comes out in a stream. So it's, it's like you spray. It's a very forceful stream. And it's like I have to spray it on my hand and it bounces off before I rub it on my skin. Otherwise, it just goes like it's like a dart just <laughs> right into my my skin. Um, but this is, I recommend, I recommend Bonfire Body Gloss, and that's going to last a long time. Um, okay, cool. So two out of three so far are outstanding, I would say. Um, and then I got um, Voodoo. People said good things about Voodoo. Voodoo Foaming Body Scrub, and this is, um, oh, you know, I think I said... Yeah, okay. So this is 2.5 ounces. It's the same size container as the Body Whip, but it's um, heavier. And it looks like that. Now, I don't remember the ingredients, and the print is really small, and the lighting here is terrible. Hmm. I like it, but I think I'm 
I'm also picking up on the stuff that I already sprayed. How am I going to do this? Um, <sighs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'll just read you the notes. And uh, I haven't tried this yet either. Um, so I don't know how it's going to lather up or anything. All right. Voodoo. Voodoo. And it's sold out. I think I got the last one. So this was $4.50. Um, it's a sugar scrub, and it has some of the same seed oils like mango seed butter, macadamia oil, pumpkin oil, cherry kernel oil, grapeseed oil. Yeah, so lots of good stuff, and charcoal powder. Um, okay, this has, this is dark Madagascar vanilla bean extract with delicate floral undertones of vanilla orchids and a sensual background of amber and crushed cocoa pods. Hmm. I don't know, it's, all I'm getting is like a combination of the bonfire and the um, pumpkin honey. So maybe it smells very similar to those because I tend to buy the same things and it tend, they kind of smell the same. So uh, I don't know, I'll have to try it in the shower. Maybe I'll give you an update later. Um, I like the fragrance, I just can't isolate the components. Okay. This is Turkish Mocha Handmade Soap, and this is wrapped up in plastic. Um, there you go. It is a 4.5 ounce bar. Um, I think this had like coconut and olive oil in it. Um, actually, let me switch over to the other soap that I got because I already have it on the screen here. Um, this, yeah, so it's, it's coconut oil, olive oil, and it looks like a bunch of the rest of the same kinds of oils that are in the other products. Um, this one, Lovecraft, um, I was, uh, there's an indie perfume forum on Facebook and I asked people if they had tried this brand and if so, were there certain things that they really liked and everyone's like, Lovecraft, Lovecraft, Lovecraft. So um, this was something that I, requested after I'd already placed my order and it tends to sell out and the other stuff so um but the soap is still available from what I can tell okay um this is supposed to smell like lavender blossoms grounded in fresh pumpkin sweet cream and blackstrap molasses with a thick dusting of harvest spice It's very harvesty, but it's it's unique. I mean, the lavender. I would not think to put lavender with all of that. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it, but it's um, it's not very strong. So as compared with cellar door soaps, not maybe 40% as strong as those. Okay, and the last thing I have for you is the Turkish Mocha um, handmade soap. It smells very mocha-y. Um, smells like a like coffee and cocoa to me. Um, go back to the description, because I think there is more to this. Okay, so this was 650, and so was the Lovecraft soap. Dark chocolate ganache topped with a dollop of whipped Marshmallow meringue and a smattering of roasted hazelnuts immersed in steamy Turkish coffee spiked with cocoa absolute. Yeah, that's I, I really like that actually. Um, again, not super strong. It's it's a mellow fragrance, but um, it's 
very good. Okay, so voila. Um, I have some other stuff that came in the mail recently that I was going to, I was gonna do a quick haul. I'll probably save that for another video. I don't know, I don't know. Um, okay, so that's all. Uh, I'll keep this short, well, shorter than my usual. And bid you adieu. Thank you for joining me, and if you'd like to see more um, reviews of this nature, clothing hauls, gothy stuff, um, please hit subscribe and find me on Instagram. It's Serafina Goth, spelled just like my name here, and goth, one word, no underline, no dash. So, yeah, alright, bye.